it's fantastic to see 50 boats, 50 fishing boats from all over the south and west of Ireland coming in as a flotilla into Cork today to celebrate their continued existence and to highlight to the country and to the politicians in Cork the bad, terrible, bad deal that Irish fishermen have been getting for 50 years. The reason for that is our membership of the European Union and the Common Fisheries Policy, which means that Irish fishermen get a mere 15%, 50, exactly 15.5% of all fish caught in Irish waters. This is a complete scandal. But it's not the only one, is it? Because if we look at our political and financial transaction with the European Union since we joined, it has been very negative for many people. Now, even according to government statistics, our cash receipts from the EU since we joined are 44 billion euro. But remember, the EU imposed 69 billion euro of private Franco-German bank debt on the Irish people in 2011. They also progged our pension fund, our pension reserve fund worth 20 billion. And on top of that, in regards to fishing, EU boats have taken 215 billion worth of fish out of Irish waters since we joined. Put that, those figures together and we are down at a loss of 256 billion euro. And things aren't getting better. Ireland has been a net contributor to the EU budget since 2013. And last year, 2020, our net contribution to the EU budget was 1.5 billion euro. And that contribution is going to increase, not decrease, in the coming years. And people say, yeah, but Herman, this whole thing about the EU, ah, it doesn't really affect us that much. Really? Well, let's look at it. The Climate Action Bill, which is going to destroy rural Ireland with its heavy imposition of the onerous carbon tax, which really hurts poor people who have to drive to work and who have to heat their home. That is the EU's baby, as is uh, the imposition of laws by our government, uh, which are there to constrict freedom of speech. That's another EU uh, idea. Last year, or 2019-2020, there were Irish soldiers in Mali. Why are Irish soldiers fighting in Mali? Why are EU soldiers at this very moment in EU battle groups? So EU membership has meant, in real terms, that our military neutrality has been washed away. And the people haven't been consulted about that. Other things as well. Let's talk today about the corporate tax rate, Ireland's corporate tax regime, which is under massive threat from the EU because of this, as they say, CCCTB, or the Common Consolidated Corporate Tax Base, how multinational pr profits are divided out and how their each country is allocated part of that profit. The imposition of the CCCTB by the EU will help destroy Ireland's corporate tax regime and it will reduce our take of corporate tax. And EU free movement, what does that mean for Ireland? It means that anybody from the EU, their family and dependents can come reside in Ireland. They have open access to a welfare system and access to our housing. EU free movement rules means that house prices go up, there's less availability of houses for Irish people, and of course, as the supply of labor goes up, wages go down. So that's not a, a, a good move for Ireland. So in so many aspects of our life, we should be, and we will as a country not reach our full potential until we are reunited and independent that we can make our own laws 
for our own good. And that's why fishermen who are protesting today in Cork should open their eyes and open the eyes of the whole country to the detrimental effect that EU membership has on not only on our economy, on our financial status. In 1916, men and women of Ireland went out to fight for our freedom and independence that we as a country could make our own laws for our own good. And ultimately, that's why the EU is bad for Ireland. Never give people not your own power over you, because they will always shaft you. And that has been our experience in the European Union. So my name is Herman Kelly. I'm president of the Irish Freedom Party. And I would ask you to consider all these issues in regards the money we pay to the EU, the laws that they can impose upon us against our will, and ultimately, that is not national democracy. So what we want is a free people in a free country. And I'd ask you to come and join with me and fight for that. Goromagatsa.